Hey you guys, it's winter. You already know what it is. We about to get it on and pop things. I'm back with another video. All right. So this video is basically going to be my experience um going to jury duty. I feel like this is a good video because I feel like a lot of people my age don't understand what jury duty is, don't know what happens when you go to jury duty, and just jury duty in general. But I got called for jury duty and so I wanted to let you guys know my experience and I have some tips for you guys if you get called for jury duty. So yeah, stay tuned. Like, comment, and subscribe to this video like right now. Like right now, like it and click that notification bell while you're at it. Thanks guys. All right, so we're gonna do from start to end of my jury duty experience. We're gonna make this video short, sweet, simple because you know, I don't like to do sitting and talking videos, but I do want to give you guys this information because I feel like it's something that would be interesting to like know about. And if you get called, you can refer back to my video and be like, so what should I expect, you know? So um, I got called for jury duty probably in like April, but I was going away on vacation, so I couldn't go and so I had to postpone it. Um, by the way, if you don't go to jury duty, you can get put in jail for 30 days or you can get fined a thousand dollars. So I suggest you just go. But yes, yeah, so I got summoned for jury duty a while ago. I couldn't go, so I postponed it. And that was recently June something I got called again to go. So they're like, be there 8.30. Cool. I got there at like 8 o'clock because I wasn't sure about trains and stuff like that. So they were like, wait 15 minutes. And I was like, okay, cool. So I'm waiting outside the courthouse for 15 minutes or whatever. And I see more people coming. I see more older people coming because mind you I was like I'm still in my head like why did I get called like I'm mad young and like I feel like older people get called for jury duty so we're waiting and now it's like 15 minutes go by and they're like line up here so you know me I'm like let me get to the front because maybe if I get to the front I get in and I get out you know what I mean? feel me like I was like maybe if I get to the front of the line they're gonna take me first and then I'll be in there and out of there um that's not the case so if you do happen to have to wait in a line outside the courthouse to go in, because you do have to go through security and all that extra stuff, um, there's no need to get to the front of the line because either way, once you go in, you go sit in the big courtroom and um, wait for everyone else to get in anyways. And when you're in the big courtroom, it doesn't matter if you sit in the front, the back, side, the side, it's literally random and like they just call people's names. So it's like there's no first come first serve and you all leave at the same time. I actually did ask my mom before I went to jury duty. I was like, what like, what am I about to do? Like, what's about to happen? And she's like, oh, they're gonna ask you questions or whatever, you're gonna get interviewed, and if they dismiss you, you get to leave. That's what I, that's the mindset I came into jury duty with. I was like, okay, cool, so I'm gonna be at the beginning of the line, I'm gonna go in, get interviewed right away, they're gonna dismiss me and I'm gonna be out. No, that's not the case at all. You go in, you sit and you wait for everybody and you all leave at the same time. All right, so now we go through security. We're all in the big courtroom and we're waiting for instructions. We're just sitting and waiting. Maybe like, maybe like nine o'clock. It's like nine o'clock now and they give us instructions. We have to like fill out these little papers or whatever. They're not difficult papers to fill out. They go through the papers with you. Then after that, they make you watch this video on the screen about what jury duty is and how jury duty works. I'm gonna be completely uh, honest with you guys. Um, I was looking at my eyelids during that video. I was not. <laughs> so yeah, I can't really tell you what the video was about, but I can tell you what happened after that because I kind of woke up and they're like, okay, listen for your name to be called. And once your name's called, it'll tell you where to go, whatever. Okay, so now it's like maybe 10 o'clock and I'm just, we're just waiting for names to be called. And now they start calling people's names and they're like, this group of people go to room A, this group of people go to room B, this group of people go to room C. Um, or wait, or was it room one, two, three, four? I think it was actually room one, two, three, four, whatever the room was. They were like, go to this room, go to that room, go to this room. So finally they call my name and I'm like, hallelujah. But before that, they already told us that like, you're not gonna be dismissed anytime early. So they already know that people go in with the mindset that like, okay, I'm gonna just trick them answer certain questions a certain way this way i can get out of jury duty they know this so they already told us beforehand like you're not leaving early everyone leaves at the same time don't think you're gonna cheat your way through this you know all that extra stuff so whatever but yes yeah, so they called my name they were like go to room seven i think it was whatever they're like go to this room so now we're in we were in the big courtroom with a whole lot of people but now they call like groups of like 20 to go into a separate room so we're in the smaller room now and they're telling us about the case and my case was a patient 
and her husband against a doctor who um, the patient got cancer and I guess they're like blaming the doctor for it whatever the case may be I'm not sure the specifics or whatever because I got dismissed why because they were like after they told us the case and the trial days or whatever they were like um, if you have any vacation plans during this time please raise your hand so I raised my hand they were like please step out the room miss stepped out they were like so you have vacation plans and I'm like yes um, I brought proof of my vacation plans I suggest you also bring proof if you have um, medical issues if you have um, children if you have um, you know vacation coming up I suggest you bring proof of all that information they didn't ask me for proof just in case they asked for it I suggest you bring it but um yeah they were like you have vacation plans I was like yeah I'm going here here and they're like okay cool have fun and then they were like go sit back in the room and wait for your name to be called again um that's basically my jury duty experience like I didn't get any farther than that because this, now it's like 10 30 maybe 10 40 they're like go sit back in the room and I sat in the room from 10.40 to 4 o'clock doing nothing. It's a lot of waiting. It's a lot and lot of waiting. And for me, I couldn't go to sleep because they're like, if you miss your name, because they like they call your name and they're like, if you don't hear your name and you don't respond to it and you don't go to the room that you're supposed to go to and this, that, and the third, then we will call you back for jury duty the next day. So, like... I'm a heavy sleeper. I can't sleep light. Once I'm knocked, I am knocked and there's no getting me up. So I was like, I can't even go to sleep, can't even take a nap because if I miss my name, like it's over for me. So that was one thing. But also, here's my tips or like here's my helpful information. Wait, what is the what is the word? Here's my um advice. Wow, I said tips and helpful information. Here's my advice for if you get called for jury duty, bring a snack, bring a book, bring your phone, bring your phone charger, bring your laptop, bring whatever it is that you use as a source of um, entertainment. Because there's a lot of waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting that goes into jury duty. So yeah, that's basically my jury duty experience. They do give you a lunch break. So from like, I think it was like one to two, we had an hour lunch break. But then yeah, you come back and you sit and wait again. I feel like it would have been a more enjoyable experience if you know like it was a bunch of teenagers that was there. And it's like, oh cool, we can make friends, we can play games, like stuff like that. No, it was a bunch of older people. But um, yeah, to keep this video nice, short, sweet, simple, that's basically my jury duty experience. That's my advice to you. Bring whatever it is that you need to stay entertained and stay up during this time. Um, I wish I could tell you guys what happens when you get picked and when like you have to actually serve, but I didn't get that far. Yeah, like, comment, and subscribe. Um, every time, I forgot to say this at the beginning of the video, like, comment, and subscribe to this video like right now. Like right now, like it, and click that notification bell while you're at it. Thanks guys. Laters.